Well, good morning. It is May 9th. Yes, I still have snow. It's almost gone, though. We've had some really nice weather. I mean, I don't know what we're up to. Probably 15 hours of daylight. It's been 40s at night, 50-something in the day, and we still have snow. <laughs> it's melting fast, though. I mean, it's... Uh, I'm in the lawn, it's receding. It's a big mound where I plowed in the street in the front yard. Uh, the normal snow where it hasn't been shoveled from a driveway or piled higher, um, it's gone. I got a six foot fence in the backyard on the south side. So on the north side of that fence, uh, it's shade. A little bit of snow, I bet in the next day or two it's gone. I bet by tonight it's gone. The front yard, that's still pretty, it's a big pile. Um, two foot maybe, high, probably about 10, 12 foot across. But like I said, it's it's melting a good six, six inches, seven, probably more a day now. It, it was, it's... I can't even tell you how fast it's gone the last two days. It's It might be all gone by the day. It, it won't be. I'll take a picture. But anyway, going to be a short summer and a long winter. But that's not what we want to talk about. Let's talk about bear stories. Only got a couple left. This one was not uh, so much about the encounter. In fact, this bear... Um, I'll tell the story of where we where we saw it first, and what happened. But um, there's a prior video out there where on having fun after 50 on that monetized channel. I put it out there. I can't remember the name of it. If I think of it and I do it in the post editing, I'll try to link that video over there. The bear actually was. Well, yesterday we had, I guess it was the day before already, we had quite the encounter. As you can see, that grass is, I don't know, four, four and a half foot tall. And back in there by that tree, I saw the biggest brown bear ever. We stood up here on the deck, which you can tell it's about, I don't know, four and a half, five foot in the air here. And uh, yelled at it, screamed at it. It just looked at us and finally it stood up. And its head was in that area towards uh, where the tree, I don't want to put it, it's leaning and it tries to go straight up there at the bend. Keep in mind that grass is fairly tall. That was a big bear. I need to go out there and measure. Now to be fair, there's a small hill uh, inclined behind there. So he was going to gain a little height there. Hence, I want to go back there, but uh, I stood eye to eye on the, when I'm standing up here. I'm 6'1", and when he stood up, I have the 4570, and I didn't think I had enough gun for that. I wanted a high-powered. He was a big one. The bear actually was walking this way right behind this is actually the hill where it was kind of walking it was up in here and it just walked right you know past these trees here and uh, just kept on going that direction around and obviously I saw it way over here um, 100 yards 150 when I popped up and saw it but let's uh Let's go back to start this story off right. <laughs> you get comfortable out in the woods. You really do, you know. You don't see wildlife every day. Um, you know, you hear it sometimes. You know, I've been... Uh, we've been at the cabin there and just quiet and doing our own thing, kind of walking. And, and then there's been days where 
we're sitting on the front porch and the one that pops out is a I'm sure it was there, moose, bear, whatever, in the alders right where we have cleared our front yard on the other side there. You know, I don't know, 30, 50 foot away. Uh, the wife and I had gotten into an argument, and it was, you know, the angry tone getting loud that spooked this thing. It was gone, man. It was uh, alders crashing. It, it left. So the, my point is there's stuff around you, even though you may not realize it. It may be hunkered down. You know, laying in a hot day, just kind of not want to get up and move in the hot. Just They're just like us, you know, only with that big fur coat and it's 70 degrees out, they're, they're finding any little wet spot they can find. Moose especially are really close to water where they can take a dip in the heat of the day and get right back in and lay down. But once they're in a good shady spot in a cool part of the ground, uh, they can withstand that heat pretty good. Anyway, what happened in this story, and you'll hear me reference nine-foot bears um, quite often. Now, a nine-foot bear is a big bear, about the biggest I've ever seen, except for the exception of this one. Um, the wife and I were going to go over to dinner. Uh, I don't know, they're probably a half a mile away, something like that, three-quarters of a mile. Nah, they're about probably a mile um, it's long enough you really don't want to walk it, but it's not that bad to walk it. It just takes you, it takes you a bit, half hour or so. But we went over there, and we had, uh, Old Red there, and we took off. Is it green? Yeah, I think we had taken green. It, it was green. Um... So we took green, that's right, it was. And anyway, we go there, we have dinner, we come back, and it's right at, I don't know, 8, 9 o'clock at night. It's starting to get darkish. It doesn't really, in the middle of, of like July and stuff, it just doesn't get dark. I mean, it kind of does, you know, 1 in the morning uh, if you're in the woods. But there's light pretty much all the time. But it was at that what you would call twilight hour for us or twilight 15 minutes or whatever for us it's like three to four hours of that anyway coming back we go through the nasty we cross the creek we go across the nasty what we call the trench and we're coming up uh, right where we're going to go down that hill and it just dies i mean it's like blah 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 and I'm like, gas, you know, I, you know, I'm searching, I'm looking at it. And it's like, I'm out there for about five minutes and the mosquitoes are eating me alive. I mean, I just swatting and wife is in there. She's not coming out, you know, that cab for nothing. And I look, I don't have a gun. I'm in flip flops. The mosquitoes are coming out cause it's getting cool. And I mean, when they're coming out, there's hundreds of them, no bug dope. And I'm just like, we're about a quarter of a mile from the cabin yet. Good quarter mile. Explained to the wife that I'm not going to try to troubleshoot this. I said, we're going to walk back to the cabin. We'll get red. You're going to have to tow it back, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're walking back on this trail, you know, and I'm, she has short legs and I'm fast tracking it. And she's just not keeping up. So I got to stop and I'm not just going to leave her. So I'm not making much time, but I'm moving fast because the bugs don't get to me when I'm moving fast. She's kind of walking and, you know, swatting and, you know, we're all trying to keep the bugs away. It's, it's, <laughs> they're vicious. And, uh, so we, we finally get to the cabin. We get there, climb in red. We go back there. I hook up the tow rope. And I tell her, I'll, I'll be the one back here with the brakes and everything. Just take it easy. Don't go too fast. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, she was going fast for me. I mean, in the woods. I was like, because, you know, we're, <laughs> th that tow rope wasn't that long. We had, I think it was just a tow strap of six foot or something. And, you know, going over and bumps and it was, uh, it was tough. 
and had no radio, so I couldn't tell her to slow down. You know, she's just doing what she's doing. Anyway, we park, get back at the cabin, and we park. And we're sitting there laying down, cooling off. It's probably 10, 10.30 by now. And I'm sitting there, and it's like, I got to get a drink, you know. I wanted a cool uh, orange drink or whatever they are, orange-flavored. So I got up, and as I get up, I'm passing the kitchen window, and I look out there, and I see a bear. And my exact quote was, I put my, you know, finger over my mouth to her, and I said, And she's like, I'm always telling bear stories, right? It's like, okay, don't let the bear get you. Walk into the outhouse. Just give her something to think about, right? Be on her toes. That was a big bear. And I walked out the front door, and I should have grabbed the camera. I wish to this day I would have grabbed, but I grabbed the rifle. It was the first thing I did. And so the wife's out there, and the bear's walking from this ridge behind or here, you know, it's walking this way, and it stops like in this clearing. It's actually over to the right, right over here. <laughs> it's, everything's backwards in this camera for me, but it's right over here standing next to there's another tree that's crooked. I shouldn't say standing. It's walking in that direction. And it's kind of going along, and all of a sudden it sees us or hears us or whatever, and it stands up, and it looks at us. And I'm, our cabin is about four and a half feet off the ground on stilts. I'm 6'1". And when that bear stood up, I was looking at least at him, if not up at him. I have never seen a bear that big. And I know my wife, you know, she sees a, what, a, a big black bear. I'll say big, six foot. And she thinks it's a, you know. Oh, isn't that cute, right? It's like, that bear will teach you a lesson you'll, you'll never forget. But anyway, I have never seen, and like I say, I kind of know what a nine-foot bear would look like um, from a walking with on fours. They're, you know, with their head up, not down like they kind of walking and sniffing the ground, but with their head up. If they had their head up and on all fours, their back um, would be, higher than you think it would be and their head would probably be pretty close to looking me in the eye so four or four and a half foot right a short person you know it'd be they'd be nine foot bear they'd be almost looking they'd almost the back on all fours they'd almost be looking at you dead square in the eye for most people so when they stand up you know they can be bigger you know they will be bigger right <laughs> but this one this one scared the hell out of me and I don't think the wife realized I as I was stomping and yelling at it and it just kind of stood there and kind of like looking like well, what do you got for me and it came down and started coming in to the cabin to us and I'm like oh crap and I had picked up the 4570 and I I I was going to shoot it and I can remember looking at that bear and saying, this gun is not big enough. That's what went through my head. This gun is not big enough for that. I'm just going to make it mad. I know I am. And so he was still kind of in line with that tree. And so I, you know, I'm aiming and I'm, I'm got him right, right in the front shoulder. I'm going to break him down. And at the last minute, that thought went through my brain and I'm just like, you know, it's late. I don't want to be hunting and tracking him down so I just I moved it over about two inches and shot the tree right beside him right behind him beside him and I don't know if you've ever had a bullet come whizzing by your head I've had it in a down south uh, hunter crazy hunters but you'll hear that that bullet come whizzing by you you know and then the boom well in this case it was the whistle by I'm sure he he heard that and then that tree behind him just big old smack I mean I heard it and uh, at this point, you know, I don't know how far away he is. He's 30, 40 foot away. And he luckily went down on all fours and kept going the direction he was at a very fast pace. But that, 
he came around parallel on our property, kind of how the trail is. And I couldn't help but think that bear was beside us probably. And we kicked it up in the, that night may not, but that's the thought I kept thinking as we walked right past this thing and didn't know it. And this bear, there's bear grass over there and that grass, um, this was taken towards fall. You can tell by berries and stuff here on the right. Um, where I've cleared the lot, not the wooded here, there's bear grass where the grass is growing back up. And in some of my videos, you'll, you've seen that, that grass. It's, it's five, six foot tall. And that bear's back, I could see the back of that bear. Fast forward to this year, there's an old timer out there. You know how that goes. A lot of bear stories of, you know, 12 foot bears and, you know, 1600 pound bears. And I think the biggest has been right at nine foot that's been taken, um, shot, um, and about a thousand pounds, a thousand, thousand pounds. If you've <laughs> huffed a few hundred pounds on your back, you know, a thousand's a lot of weight, but that bear was by far the biggest bear I've seen. And I got telling this old timer about it. I said, you know, there's, there's big bears around here. And he, he kind of, he, you know, kind of got on a conversation there. And he says, you know, he used to live 15 miles to the south, west of us. And he says, you know, he says, I've seen him a couple times. And I've even petitioned Fish and Game to um, not hunt these large bears, anything over a certain size. And they've always wanted proof, like a bear skull or something like that. And he said, you'll you'll hear about it in this, in this territory. You know, it's, it's where we're at is real close to the state park and you can hunt in there. Um, but you know, a lot of people don't and the country to get to the, the boundary there is fairly tough. It's not an easy, especially for, you know, if you're going after a bear, the point of all that is they come out, I think they come out of that protected hunting type scenario out of the, the parklands and just want, you know, they don't know where the boundaries are. But anyway, this guy was talking about these big 12 foot bears and I'm like, you know, <laughs> yeah, right. And he goes, no, he says, I'm, I'm dead serious. And he had a name for him. And he says, uh, he says, I've seen them. He said, and, and he said, they're kind of like, he related them to like dogs. He said, you know how the bigger dogs are more mellow and, uh, you know, the smaller ones are their yappy. And he says, that's kind of how, the, he said, they're, they still a bear. He said, you still respect them. But he said, you know, he's had them chuckle at him. And if you know, I, I know what he's talking about. They, uh, you'll probably see it more in bear hunting videos when two bears are, they're communicating that it's kind of like a growl with a dog. They're kind of a, I can't even explain the the uh, sound but it does sound it's a it's more of a throat sound and gnashing of teeth and um but it's a way of you know i'm agitated is what it is they're they're on edge they're <laughs> testosterone or whatever testosterone is high you know they're 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 not in a good mood that's what i've associated with but he was saying they were like just playing games and you know i'm like yeah whatever you know he, he's out in the woods all the time uh, he knows more than i do probably but uh, he lives out in the woods um, full time out there. But anyway, I'm not going to say that it was 12 foot. I, I won't say that. I will say it was the biggest bear. And that video that on Having Fun After 50 that I, I show got a lot of comments. And there's one I remember. He says, you know, go, go measure that tree where that, you, you know, you shot next to it and tell me what that, where, you know. And I can remember where the bear's head was because the tree kind of, it's a, it's an angled tree, but then it, you know, at, at a point that it's kind of like a V, it kind of does that right at that bend. And so I had a reference on that tree and I thought about it one day and I went out there and I said, you know what, I'm going to measure right below, you know, if it was me standing by that tree in front of it and where that, that bullet hit and the bend there and everything. And when I say I'm not going to say how big it was, I will tell you where I measured to where 
the bullet and where I thought its head was, and that was ten and a half feet. I haven't told the wife that, <laughs> but um, I had that. That was a big bear. I I remember thinking. I mean, I've been out hunting a lot. I haven't been in the last ten years probably, but I've I've seen my fair share of big bears, and this one. It put the fear of God in me. If you're not a believer, you will be. And I, you know, I've, there's a lot of people, oh, this is a big bear. And I look at it and my wife and I look at it like, you know, picture and we acknowledge it. But, you know, we both look at each other like, you don't know what a big bear is. When you see a big bear, it's like Bigfoot, you know, those pictures. You see something out there, it's uh, tall, eight foot, nine foot's big. That's a big bear. You know, you see basketball players out there that, and I'll just pack on a thousand pounds on that basketball player and put some sharp claws on him. I have the utmost respect, but that's the, that's the gist of that story. There is big bears out here. And, uh, rumor is some really big bears. And I've seen one big bear. I'm not going to say how big I think it was. I do know what I measured on that tape measure. Take it for what it is. Some guy on the internet. A bear story. Keep your head on a swivel.